Hey, welcome to another lesson. This will be Knee Socks by Popular Demand. So, let's get to it. Here's Knee Socks guitar part. Alright, so as far as tone goes, you'll need some pretty essential effects pedals to go along with this. So first of all, you'd probably need definitely a tape delay. So, my tape delay sounds like this. So it's pretty prominent, pretty loud tape delay. You also want like a room reverb sound, so that goes along with the tape delay and sounds really cool. You also need a phaser for the second guitar part, which should sound something like... And on the album there's actually a lot more stuff going on. There's like a flange, phase, a bunch of crazy stuff, maybe some even tremolo. So you can have a lot of fun with this with the effects, but just for now I'm going to use a phaser, tape delay, room reverb, and slight distortion. Alright, so let's take a look at the very beginning. The intro starts off with the riff that's played throughout the song mostly. And this riff involves a lot of sliding into the notes. I'll play this a few times because it's a little tricky to get, and I'll even go over the fingerings that I use because it can be a little confusing. So the riff goes like this. That's the first half of it. The next half is slightly different at the end. So basically, you slide into like every other note starting on the first note. And the way you want to pick this is long, short, long, short. So. So long, short, long, short. So slowly, it's this. the first half of the first part. So the next part goes and I use pointer, ring, middle, pointer. And the last part is on just one string and I only use I think two different fingers for this and I go repeat the whole thing we just did but it's slightly different. So so far the whole beginning is this. So that's the first half. So faster. So this is at speed. So it's long, short, long, short, pretty much the entire time for this, sliding into like the first note of every grouping. So the second half of this intro is very similar, except you just change one of the lines. So I'll play up to the point where it changes. So up to this point. Up to that point, it's all the same. And, st and then this time you go. Last part's the same again. So again, that new part, you start on the same note as the first time, but you slide up the same string instead. So it goes like this. Then finishing it. And so that's the very first part of the riff. And that's the lead guitar part, so Alex's guitar. So after that first riff, um, they come in on beat 2 with an E minor chord and they voice it like this. You can voice it regularly but this is only a three note voicing so only hit the top three strings so you rest on one and then play on two. So that's the voicing they use live I noticed. And on the recording there's actually like a palm muted part pickup. It's like ghost notes. It goes like this. 
So that's on beat one, and then beat two is that chord. Starting around on beat one, after that riff we just played, it goes like this. So they pretty much always hit on beat two during these verses on this E minor for the first guitar part. And this is where you can add in your phaser. It'd sound like this. One. And you can really let that ring because in the recording there's a bunch of stuff going on, a bunch of effects, a bunch of ambient sound. So for those, for the next coming verses, you just hit that E minor on beat two every four bars, I believe. Just listen to the recording, you'll be able to figure it out. So after those first few verses happen, then the chorus happens again, and the lead guitar picks up with that same riff. So make sure you pick that up a beat before like the actual chorus downbeat and that riff is again the exact same as the very beginning so you just play that whole riff again so the first chorus the entire chorus should sound like this there that downbeat was well you cured my January blues but after that half of the verse then you go back into hitting or with the phaser I guess hitting so you just hit that every every time it comes up you'll just have to listen to that all right so next we have the bridge the ongoing riff throughout the bridge it's really hard to hear but if you look up a live video you can hear it and this is how it goes. So starting around the bridge. The bridge is just this one part repeated over and over again. So this this is a smaller chunk that's repeated. So slower. It's this. And then you repeat that same thing. And on the album, I think they play an octave lower also. So I'll throw this part in too. It's just the exact same but down an octave. So it goes like this. And you repeat that again. And that brings us, so after that, it jumps into that a cappella verse. Well, it's not really the verse, but it's that different part. And all you do is hit the E minor on beat one this time. So, on beat one. And then that's that um, a cappella vocal harmony verse. So, you always have to listen to that a cappella part to know when to come up with that E minor again. It should be all on beat two except for the very first one again. Coming out of that um, a cappella vocal part, you just jump back into that same riff we played at the beginning and for the chorus, which is just. that riff until then in the song. Alright, so now for the second guitar part. So when the lead guitar goes right there, that downbeat is where you'll come in. You'll come in with this riff, which is the same notes as the lead guitar but down an octave. So it's like this. So again. And then you'll rest for four measures again, and then come in with the lead guitar just for the first six notes again. So again. And then after that happens, you do the same thing again. So wait for four measures. And then wait for four more measures, and then... then this part you'll play all the notes, so... 
also those two notes at the end. And that jumps in to the E minor up here also. Alright, so the only difference between this guitar part and the first guitar part is this part plays all of the chords while the lead guitar only plays like the downbeat of every other phrase. So the voicings they use are just two note voicings except for the E minor at the beginning and it goes like this. So you just play that on beat two of like every other measure for the verse. If you just listen to it, it'll be easy to figure out. Alright, so for the chorus, it's just those two parts mixed together. So you'll play E minor, play that first part of the riff, then you'll play a C major this time, and then the second part of the riff. So every other part of what we have already learned. So it should sound something like this. comes up to the January Blues verse, which you still hit on beat two. So after he sings January Blues, after you hit that on beat two for the first part, you rest that whole verse again, and then you'll just come in with what we've already learned. So you'll just play all on beat two, one. brings us the chorus, which again is just is the same thing, but I'll play it again. So the verses are all the same of what we already learned, it's just in different spots, so if you just listen to that you'll be able to figure it out. But for the bridge, the chords change. So for the bridge, it goes A minor, C, E minor, D, C, B. So the bridge should go like this. And these chords are all one measure apiece. I played was the beginning of the acapella section. And then the outro and the chorus is all the same. Same chords we already did, so just play those again, and that's the entire thing for the second guitar part. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. As always, subscribe, leave comments, leave suggestions, because that's where I'll make all my videos and suggestions. Got a lot of AM. I could do other albums too, but I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.